Oh, hello there. Yes, well, I'm very, very, very pleased it is indeed today because I was getting fed up with this week. Yeah, too cold and too having to go out. Yes, I'm getting sedentary in my old age. Actually, it's about to change soon because I need to get fit and lose weight and um, stop being so much of a git, I think. Um, yeah, two of those I can do. Anyway, leaving that aside, yes. Today, yes. Well, yesterday, in fact, yeah, we had the um, the glorious news that um, a celebrity isn't a wonderful human being. And um, I don't know what it is particularly about the media with these kind of stories about people that everybody knows is a git. And it transpires that the media wakes up to the fact that they're a git. Um, odd, isn't it? Yeah, all those people all down the line that you always thought, do you know what, I reckon he's a complete git. And um, you hear that they're complete gits, and then magically, 20 years later, the newspapers, and indeed all the rest of the media, wake up to the fact that they are, well, just gits, aren't they? Yeah. Doesn't stop them, though, from insisting that because somebody's on the telly, that we must love them. And, um... Yeah, we don't, do we? Same with the royals, you know, they're all loved, aren't they? Even the, uh, yeah, even that one, though, they don't mention. But even then, there's a sort of assumption that everything is fine. But I seem to recall 20 years ago that that particular royal had a reputation for being very dodgy. Yes, as indeed they do. Odd that I know these things, and yet all of those people that actually mix with these people don't seem to. Strange. Odd. Rum and uncanny. Anyway, moving on from that, because that's blindingly obvious, and if you don't buy into that, God knows. Anyway, moving on, yes, um, we've had the uh, delights this week of Kemi Badenoch, who um, the newspapers, of course, are delighting in because she's conservative and, as such, can do no wrong. So we, I did have to smile at the Daily Mail comment. Yeah, we're going to pick on the Daily Mail today. Kemi Badenoch's promising vision on, on migration, yeah, which bodes well, apparently, for um, her probably not being leader by the time the next election comes round. But, um, yeah, apparently she's um, very much kind of um, saying that she's going to uh, crack down on um, migration, which I think is a very good thing. But it did put me in mind of some of the other people that have promised to do that. I mean, do you remember Theresa May? Um, yeah, she, um, well, she she created that hostile environment, didn't it? Yeah, she was going to really crack down on um on uh, on on all them immigrants, yeah, and then she was followed by Amber Rudd, yeah, and uh, she was going to crack down on their Im them immigrants, and Savvy Javid, who um, was going to crack down on them immigrants, not him, obviously, because he's a good immigrant, but they had the bad ones, yeah, and of course we had Pretty Patel, who uh, couldn't actually count in the same way that uh, various people will always throw at certain black Labour female MPs, but nevertheless we forgive her for that because, of course, she's a good friend of Israel. No, hang on. No, no, she's going to crack down on immigration, wasn't she? Yes, it was a big thing because um, yeah, it was the whole 10,000 people thing. And, um, or was it 100,000? Who cares? Can't really count anyway. Yeah, it doesn't, didn't actually work, did it? And then, of course, we have to see Willa Braveman. Remember her? First time around when she was definitely going to sort out the boats and the people and the, the migrants and the paedophiles and everyone else who that we, we all hate lumped in together, Islamists as they all are now, yeah. And uh, briefly, Greg Schnapps, he was going to crack down on immigration, just very briefly, because of course then we got Suella Braveman back, who had to come back, because she was going to crack down, ooh yes, on the Islamist migrants, paedophiles, rapists, uh, drug dealers, um, members of the Groucho Club, probably, I don't know, maybe, maybe that one. And lastly, the last of them was, of course, James Cleverly, who was definitely going to, you know, get to grips with uh, migration, what with the whole Rwanda plan, which uh, now apparently is a very bad idea, or something. Yes, yeah, strange, isn't it? All of those people, that's an entire 15 years worth, effectively, of Home Secretaries, all of whom were definitely going to do what Kemi's going to do, except she doesn't have to do it. So the beauty for her, of course, is simply going to be being herself, which, of course, um, perhaps if we think of a kind of Greg Wall scenario. It's really odd that I, along with everyone else, seems to think that she's a bit of a git. Um, but the newspapers haven't quite picked up on that, or indeed GB News and the other non-legacy media. Meanwhile, I mean, in actual real world, of course, um, people are actually being deported. But apparently that's not good enough because the beauty of banging on in a nice racist British media sort of way about migration is that one is 
too many, isn't it? Yes. Uh, but I thought, personally, what with the whole Brexit thing, that we were going to, you know, have sovereignty and be able to do these things. Odd that we can't, or indeed odd that, you know, for example, Sewell, a brave man, couldn't do what Keir Starmer has, even though, you know, he's a horrible human rights lawyer. Yeah, still, let's get rid of those workers' rights, and then I'm sure it'll all work out, won't it? Yes, those pesky rights. God, I hate them. Yeah. Anyway, do have a beautiful Friday, inevitably, and, um, yeah whilst you can. Mm.